Good evening, everyone. Let me welcome you to a little bit more of a relaxed, chilled out video. Tonight, I'm saying hi from Gan Eng Song. I have the honor of taking Li out for her birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> you. Thank you so much. Where are we? Uh, at something, something, something. Hey. Like the air is just gorgeous down here. It has not even rained yet. Not even one time. We've been here now for four days. We did have some seafood, but it was not in this situation. So this is a very beautiful, very pretty restaurant. It is on a beach. Someone was having fun playing with the, the little translucent crabs. They're so hard to catch, but you caught... Three. Three. Oh, man. Phuket is not that densely inhabited, but you can notice from the north side of the island where we were yesterday, it's like almost jungle. When we were driving the motorbike for like an hour, yeah. it was like mangrove. Oh, it was gorgeous. We're still about 10 kilometers from where we are staying in one of the main areas, Rawai Beach. And today was like blazing blue sunshine. Check out the views from this video. We went up to the, it's called the Big Buddha. It's a very big statue of Buddha, very famous in Phuket, and the view from the top, oh man. The food is not a main thing for today. I ordered- It's for these things. I ordered two things that I've never had before. Thank you. Your favorite, the crab. The spicy crab. You have a crab for me? Yeah, yes. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. We can catch a lot of seafood from here. Can we just oh let them cook for us? Please, do you know? Hmm. They can they look like they are breeze. You don't know, right? They are like some kind of plant. The sky is such a cool color. It's like gray or like a little bit purple and you can tell it was a beautiful day because there are so many boats out. We have had great weather but it's been super windy. Because it's been another year of life. You just, dude, you're an expert and you're <laughs> distracting me from what I'm saying. How did you do that? Maybe crap, but I will let, let them go. Oh my gosh, you are a hunter. I am married not just to a carnivore, but to a hunter. <laughs> so, of course, I'm excited to taste the Southern Thai amazing seafood. The Southern Thailand is famous for many reasons. Seafood is one of them. But I want to hear also from you yeah. over the past year, maybe the past few years, I don't know, because our anniversary is also during these days and her birthday. So it is a cool coincidence. Maybe we can hear some stories about that. I see our rice is on the table. Race you, race you there. Oh, Dude. The beach has totally seduced him. Wow. They had good life here. Yeah, for sure. That's good. The first dish is one of the two things that I've never had, never even heard of. This is a Gang Tai Ba that's made, made as a fried dish. So those are the pieces of the fish that they would ferment to make the Gang Tai Ba, that spicy curry that we had for lunch today. So this dish, I had to think for a second because I've never heard of this. This is a, you can't say deconstructed, but it's like a totally different version. It's a fried dish of what you would usually have as a soupy curry. So the Gang Tai Ba is one of it actually, it's probably the number one Southern Thai dish. Usually have it with rice, like that. But it's a soupy curry, super spicy. This one is taking all of the Thai Ba parts and just frying them with ginger. I've never heard of that. So maybe it is a fancy dish in the South, but frying it with the ginger, I'm sure takes the smell away because that is a heavily fermented dish. The Thai Ba is kind of like the Bala of Isan. Interesting. Yeah, is it fish stomach or the swim bladder or something, maybe? Wow, it's time to start. White rice is great with all Thai food, especially a new dish. So we have the two seafood dishes are here. This shrimp fried with some uh, some kind of, they just said pad namakham, which I've never heard of. So it means tamarind water. And then this is that gang that bao, but it's made as a pad dish, which I've also never heard of. This though is a favorite. Look at that crab, man. I hope they made it very spicy for us, but it looks beautiful. 
Yes. Oh man, perfect. When you see seafood just steaming like that, it's a happy day. <laughs> Maybe it's good actually that it's not in such giant quantities because we have been eating a lot of food this trip, of course. Okay, thank you very much. You can smell it actually, yep, the kapi. So shrimp, pat kapi, sai sata. Don't forget this dish. Kapi is the shrimp paste, but it also has fresh shrimp in it, and then the sata, the stink beans. Why not elevate the happiness right now? So it has spicy peppers and sweet peppers. There's some onions, but it's just so exciting to have stink beans. Oh, dude. It smells so good too. Too excited. I love, love, love Sata. Mm. They're so hearty. They're not that stinky to be called stink beans. Of course, there are many other beans that, that have interesting smells. It's very healthy though, by the way. The patai. Patai bean is another word in English. Mm. So I do live in the mountains. You wouldn't expect it to be famous for seafood, but we occasionally eat shrimp, of course. And it is never fresh like that. Wow. Mm. But dude, that sata just sets it off. It is a little spicy, but uh, it's a nice, it's a nicer dinner restaurant. They're not gonna blow us away like the curries that we were eating on the street for lunch. Okay, the first special dish. Get some chilies and, I don't know if it's a fish swim bladder. Uh, fried with parsley, fried with chilies, but the main thing of the dish is the, the king, the garlic, and then the black pepper. Can definitely smell that. Mm. It just looks like a gai pad king, but it's with fish innards. Like, so crazy. If not for the very interesting organ, which might be like a swim bladder or something. Maybe it is a fish kidney of a huge fish. I, I could think it is just like pork. The fish must be so big. Mmm. Somehow it is fish. For sure this is fish, but for sure this is also pork ears, right? What a weird mix of a dish. Hmm. The ginger's great and the ginger and parsley. I'm sure they're to hide the smell of the fish innards, right? Mm. 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 It smells so sweet, but it's the, the sweet tamarind sauce. Well, but it said sweet tamarind water. Anyways, this one with chives. Again, the fresh shrimp are gonna be a highlight, but I'm very curious about the Wow. Okay, it's very sweet, but it is so tasty. The tamarind is so aromatic. It's like syrup, like cane sugar syrup, but with tons of ginger in there. That's really nice. It's, hmm, it's nice to eat more gentle flavors for dinner after we were sweating for lunch, so I really don't mind. Yeah, it is quite sweet, but it's really satisfying, man. Yeah. Last but definitely not least, the cicadas. Oh, 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 oh. Dude. Just a mess of curry-coated crab parts. Oh, man. Thank you, cicadas. The cicadas started cheering, basically. They quieted right down. I've already tasted three dishes, but my saliva glands just started gushing again. That crab. I'm saving the majority of that for you. Thank you for letting me taste it first. Gosh, Gotta go hands-on with this one. Wow. Mm. I think it's a blue crab. Maybe not such a big one, but I can see through all the chili. I can see the shell of the crab. It is that, the freckles, the pink. 
pink shell. Oh, it's so soft. Oh yeah, Bunim, that's what it is. Okay. I said the name before I remembered, <laughs> before I remembered what I ordered. It looked like a Puma, but it is a Bunim, the soft shell crab. That is Chu Chi. Don't forget the name of that dish when you come to the South. It's not the spice addicts dish, but it would go great with a gang som or with a uh, gang tai pa. There is so much black pepper instead of more spicy chili, but it's still very warm. There's black pepper and then so much uh, 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 kaffir lime leaf in there. Wow. It's like, dude, it's crazy rich and hearty. Wow. Okay. Thank you for going through all of those with me. Pass it over to you. That crab is going to blow you away. I couldn't believe it. I was ready for the puma. I was ready to have to pick it apart like the crab we had a few days ago. Did you fly it? Yeah, yeah. But it's also a type of crab that has a soft shell to begin with. And wait till you taste that shrimp. Oh man. Mm, not bad. Not bad. It's like a bean. Mm-hmm. It's like a super bean. This one. Actually, it's not recommended to eat at night because it'll get you excited and you might not be able to sleep. But you and I are sharing. Both so day night, don't need to sleep. Yeah. Can't eat. Mm. I'm trying to remember what we had for your birthday last year. Mm, that's it, my birthday, you're in crappy. Mm. Are you serious? Are oh. you serious? Okay. <laughs> Am I serious? Yeah. You had a back race. This is not bitter, it is some kind of... Well, I'm not an expert. It should be all the fish parts. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Not pig ear. Oh, okay. Look like it and feels like even right. Tasty and pig ear. Oh. The pig ear has a lot of fat. Mm. This is pure skin. More mm. tasty. The crab is very good. Can eat every part, but this restaurant they bring. It's because this view. The first restaurant we have, that crab is better. Because mm -hmm. I like to mm -hmm. take the meat out of the crab. The first restaurant, they also had the ocean view, mm -hmm. but this one just so peaceful. Mm -hmm. It is way more peaceful, yeah. And so romantic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. Especially from when the sun sets. Mm -hmm. like when the sun just coming down. Wow. So crazy. Thank you. You're welcome. And some vegetables. Cilantro garnish is a vegetable. I really like that one too. It's the first bite. I just tasted all the garlic, which is nice, but. Mm -hmm. That shrimp is so juicy, super juicy. Look at that, so crazy and very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Maybe the time when we come, right now still had a tourist, but still cannot come here like what it used to be. I've always thought most places that are famous for tourism it's very important the experience that you have when you go there. Because mm -hmm. all the famous places for tourism are all so beautiful. But if you have a bad experience there, it can make you feel like it's a bad place. And if you have a great time there, even a not so popular or not so beautiful place can be so amazing. So I never thought very highly of either Gossamui or Phuket. So I cool. never wanted to visit them. That's why this trip is the first time that I've ever been to Gossamui. Mm -hmm. I was very interested to go with you because it's a place I've never gone, but I wasn't even interested to go before. <laughs> and Gossamui is so cool. I don't want to leave. We had so much fun there, yeah. And Phuket the same. I'm, I had come here only for some volunteer 
some English camps, mm -hmm. but never for tourism. But it's so much fun hanging out with you. Has been so much fun. Thank you. We still have two more days. Still. Mm. Yeah. I want more. If we didn't have more fun waiting for us next week, I would be really sad to leave. Actually, I would be really sad to leave. It's 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 been so fun. Yeah. Mm. A very very good birthday. I hope. I hope. Thank you. <laughs> Well, but the very blessing is still healthy and alive. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. Just wish the tongue can please slow down. Taste that very interesting, interesting. organ with me. <laughs> I don't know what organ it is of a fish, but this one. usually they will ferment this part. Yeah. But instead, this is like fresh. It's a pat sort or Ah, uh, Taipa so Pad King. That's right. It's like you know <laughs> maybe eat the chicken duck or the probably eat the inside part. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the normal chicken inside part for me. Mm. Oh like a fish egg. Fish egg. Thank you for teaching me to <laughs> always check the mic. Check the mic, make sure the sounds are right, boy. <laughs> so right? Man, so perfect, yes. Has so many people, they come to Thailand. They just stay in South and then leave. They are mm -hmm. just like, before I don't understand. I say, Northern Thailand, like Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Mei Hong Son, so pretty. How can people come here, just stay in Southern mm -hmm. Thailand and then left? Interesting. Now mm -hmm. I understand. They're so pretty. You don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. If they had enough time, they for sure will like explore from south to north. But when they don't have enough time, they had to pick one. For yeah. me, like Northern Thailand is still so good. Thank you. They still so good. I still love to stay in Chiang Mai. But when you come to south, like when you're on vacation, yeah. just so pretty. It is a totally different kind of pretty. Do you, is there something you appreciate more about here? You think now that we've been living in the mountains for some... Because we stayed in Isan for many years. We took most of our trips to the north, mm -hmm. all except for one. But we went to Chantaburi, to the beach. Mm -hmm. That was a real beach trip. But yeah. every other time we've gone to the mountains. Now that we've lived in the plains, the mountains, now do you appreciate something more? different about the beach? It's like, here is a beach, but they have so many steep mountains. Mm -hmm. It's just like the beach and then come, come by. Yeah. Uh, they have everything. They have, mount, yeah. they have everything. Got somewhere you had mountains too. Yeah. yeah. They just don't have like so many different nationality people hiding mm -hmm. on the some part of mm -hmm. the hill track mm -hmm. or on the hill. Just that like, you stay here. The you, diversity is like yeah. You had a beach, you had a mountain, you had the city, everything you want here have. But when you want to explore more different cultural stuff, mm -hmm. Northern Thailand still have a lot of like different people, different nationality. Mm -hmm. You can go to go to food and more jungle. Good description. Yeah. More jungle in Northern Thailand. Mm. I just, everything so new to me. I just want to stay longer to explore more. <laughs> but for long time living, Chiang Mai. Mm. If you come to Phuket, you hungry, and then you want to do nothing, just come here, all the dish, and then just sitting here. Oh. <laughs> you can sit here whole day, no problem. <laughs> and, the beach is less than one meter from, mm -hmm. you know, you can just stand up and then here is the sand, here is the beach. And if, if the tide was in, because oh. the tide changes, yeah. some people will come for dinner and the water the will ocean be may, right Maybe there. just yeah. like under your foot, yeah. mm -hmm. just here, dung, can crack and catch some crab here. But they are tiny, so just catch for fun and let them go. <laughs> so scooping up the last bean, the last chili, the last onion, and a shrimp. 
man, we really had a great time here. I'm not, you know, I love the atmosphere and the energy of street food. It's not only that I don't make videos of this kind of stuff so much. We don't do meals like this very often together, so it is Lee's birthday, so very special, special reason for that, but I get to enjoy it too, so much, man. Hey, may I promise both? Beside this meal, Haidi Lao. Uh -huh. Okay, I promise first time Haidi Lao back in Chiang Mai. Okay, Haidi Lao. B, this is A, that's B. Okay. A, B birthday meals. Haidi Lao waiting for you, cheer bro. Wow. Richness, deliciousness, seafood, atmosphere, all of it. This meal was awesome. Just chatting with Lee was very special though. I will not forget. I've learned many things. I hope you appreciated hanging out with us too. Tomorrow, we are waking up early. We're going for an all out day downtown in Phuket. Gonna get some street noodles. I want to go to a place that kind of represents the deep south of Thailand. And next week, we're gonna be in the deep south of Thailand, but I just, I guess I just can't wait. But there is a Phuket version of that dish that I just really wanna have, so. And then maybe, who knows, maybe at least one more meal of spicy South Thai food. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight, relaxing with us, and just having very cool conversation, sharing in that. I hope it blesses you. I hope you are feeling good, feeling strong. As Lee said, feeling blessed with another year of life, no matter when your birthday is. Good night from us. She's waving. See you next time.